Okay, um, welcome to the second video. I'm going to show you a guide on how to do the quest uh, mounting made easy. It's an absolute nightmare of a quest, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there's a few things you can do to make it easier. Uh, one of them is to get the two set bonus from your order hall items. As you can see, that increases the out of combat regeneration in outdoor broken isle, isle zones. That's going to help a lot on this quest. Also, you need a stone hide leather barden. That stops you getting dazed while you're on a mount, which is perfect for this quest. If you get taken off your mount, you're going to fail the quest unless you've uh, got to a certain checkpoint, which it saves that. So you want to eat this as well, which is called Fighter Chow. I've just used that, and that gives you out of combat health regeneration by a thousand percent, which is you definitely going to need that. Uh, I've done this quest on another account, and it's an absolute nightmare. You need these two items, or else you're actually not going to be able to do it. So what you want to do is come over to this section here and mount up and click on this guy and he's going to start running off so I'll, I'll only commentate when it gets to the hard bits as you can see things attack you all the time during this quest so you need to have that bard in on or else you're going to get taken off your mount pretty quick which I still may do. You don't have to stay this close to him, but it's uh, it does make it a little bit easier because he does crazy stuff like that. As you can see from the video, he runs through a lot of uh, hostile areas, and this is one of the harder parts here. If you've not got the bard in, which I didn't have first time I did it. Uh, luckily, some looks like someone's been through and killed a few a few monsters here, but the dragons attack you up here, and they're an absolute pain. I know they're still there. I'm gonna try and give them a wide berth. But, yeah. Let's see, I got, got a couple of dragons on me there. If you've not got the bard in on you, I'd have probably been um, dismounted there. So on that section hug the rock as close as you possibly can so you can get up there as quick as possible so as you can see again he's going to run right through the middle of two dragons which, uh, with a bar without the bar then i'd have been definitely dismounted by now he jumps through this gap here Make sure you go through, but don't run off until he comes through as well, or else you'll, you'll go out of range of the lasso. Let's, let's like I said, this is one of the most annoying quests I've ever done on this game, but it's definitely worth doing for the mount. This is another, um, another problem I had with the quest. You can only, see, you can, sometimes the lasso disappears. You can only see it when you're out of a certain distance away, out of the um, distance from it. It starts glowing red, but while you're near it, it doesn't show it, and it can be an absolute nightmare. So hopefully they'll fix that. The only the best advice I can give you on this quest is if you if you do fail, don't get disheartened. Like I said, there is checkpoints dotted about if you get a certain distance into the quest, and I'll probably will fail it a couple of times. I'll be extremely lucky if I do it first time. There's a few uh, as we come up here. There's a few points now where you've got a drop, which you'll, which you'll see soon. That's why you need the uh, the health regeneration because you you can't do it without it. You die take too much damage from the falls I 
this bit when you get to the end is probably the hardest part of this quest. And you'll see in a second. I suggest you stay in front of him at this point because he, he tends to um, catapult when he gets towards the end. He just randomly fires forward and if you're not expecting it you'll, you'll probably uh, you'll probably drop and die. So if you, if you get, once you get sub out here, if you get on this rock here and get ready, yep, there you go, so he's jumped. And he's going to drop down again. And this is the big drop here. That's where you need the food, because you can see my house regening. And now you need to wait for him to get about level with you, and then drop. Ah, see, I failed it there. So all you need to do is just run back up here. So you run back the way he was originally at, at the water. Uh, and I'll just pause the recording and I'll resume it when I get back up there. Okay, yep, you can see, uh, because I got to this point without failing, it's saved the progress, so he's back up here. Like I said, this is the hardest part of the quest, it's, not, it's a nightmare, you just, if you don't time that second jump perfectly at the bottom, it's, you fail it, it's hard to get the timing right. So again, click on input, get ready because he's going to drop off here just randomly yep and good thing about if you do fail it the first time you get the lasso animation back so you can actually see where he is which always helps all right so wait until he gets about there and then try and fall at the same time there you go i did it that time you need to wait until he's just probably halfway down from his original jump and then go so you're falling at the same rate as him Once he's done this part, he starts becoming a bit more tricky. He starts ducking and weaving through trees and stuff. Um, so if you've not got your wits about you, you'll you'll lose him in the trees. And then he tries to make you think he's going to jump off the edge there. <laughs> There's some bits like this that are quite straightforward. It's not that difficult. It's there's just the odd parts where it's really difficult to stay with him. He just starts doing random things. I mean, you can kind of guess where he's going on some bits like there. It's the only way he could really go is that way. But don't be uh, there. Don't be tempted to jump off. He he looks at the jump and realizes it's too big, so turns around. But the first time I did it, I jumped down expecting him to go down. Okay, on this bit he's going to jump back onto the bridge so if you keep up here so you've got a bit of high ground and then when he jumps on you you're able to get on if you follow him straight to where he is you miss and you hit the bridge and then you'll lose him so make sure you keep some high ground there so again it's just a simple following at this at this stage Sorry about the long silences, but there's not really much I can tell you. It's quite self-explanatory. Uh, just keep as near as to him as possible. Like I said, he starts ducking and weaving a lot in this section, but it becomes uh, worse when, this, when he starts running through the middle of trees and big packs of wolves like that. I think at this point you get about six or seven mobs chasing you, and usually there's a spawn just outside this gate, 
Um, luckily it's not there this time. You can see I'm taking quite a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, make sure you've got a decent amount of health as well before you attempt this quest. I've got like 1.4 mil and I've just lost more than half my HP just following him. That's why, you, like I said, that's why you need the food. Once once I get out of combat again, my health will start to regen, luckily. There you go, he run jumps over there. Don't try and jump, just run around. You, you can't make that jump. Hopefully I'll get out of combat in a second because I'm going to have to jump down again. Uh, this section coming up is quite similar to the uh, waterfall section. He's going to jump down and down this part here where you can see underneath me. Um, so you need, obviously you need the food for your health. So if you jump onto this rock, because he goes up to this bit, it makes it easier. And then he's going to jump straight away. There's no, there's no um, gap in his jumps this time. He just goes for it straight away. Okay, right on this, this is one of the tricky sections here. He's going to run around this way. What you want to do is you want to stay on this rock like this and then stand here near the torch because he's going to jump straight up. If you go down there, you can't jump back up, so you, you'll end up failing the quest. And on this section, you want to run to here and jump there. Right. See, I went too far away from him there. Right, it gives me a chance to show you again where you need to go. So as you can see, because we've got to a certain distance where the number one is, that's where my checkpoint's saved. I won't crop these fails out, but, uh, just so you can see where you need to go if you do fail, and how it's not actually as bad as it seems when you do fail. So if you run back up to this flight point here, he's just there waiting on the end for you. So it's not too bad. So again, just click on him, and he'll start this again. The first, like I said, the first time I did this, I failed it about 20 times. It took me about an hour to do it. It was an absolute pain. That's why I decided to make this video to make it a bit easier for you guys. So again, he's going to run around this way. You just stay on this section here. Try not to go too far in front and stand near the torch. As soon as you see him jump up, start running. I was a bit too slow last time. That's why he got away. So you want to go to this section here, run up. And then at that time, I've managed to do it. Uh, this is the bit where he starts running through the trees, which uh, can be a bit difficult to follow because you're right on the edge of a cliff. Right, at this section he's going to jump on top of this rock here. And obviously we can't get up there. So you've got to wait for him to jump up and then run around the side here. To make sure that the lasso doesn't break and he jumps back down this side. And again, be careful going on the cliff edge here. I can see, yeah, he's just running around in circles in the trees at the moment, trying to lose you. As for really tricky sections, I think we've passed the majority of them now. Um, just, he starts doing some big jumps again, coming down there, I believe. He tries to drag you through mobs to try and get you to be dismounted. He's going to jump down there. Hopefully, I was quick. Nope. So yeah, I was too slow. I'm not actually. 
actually sure where the checkpoint is now for this so I'll just uh, check on the map I'll pause the video when I f oh it's there okay I'll pause the video when I get back up to it it won't be a second right okay I've um, I found him again like I said I won't crop these bits out I want you to see what it's like when you fail um, I'm not failing on purpose by the way that's uh, genuinely shows you how hard it is to do this quest um, but if I show you where I've failed at least then you know where to go back to so you just got to do the same thing again as you did before you're going to start running around these trees I failed I hesitated jumping down there because I, I forgot that he jumps down there that fast usually he waits a second before he does a big jump but he just goes for it on this one Like I said, each time you fail, at least you get the lasso animation back, so it does make it a little bit easier. Cause it just it has a tendency to disappear after a while. Right, yep. So I'll keep heading down this way. And this section, this is where he's going to drop. So drop with him, and again straight away. Like I said, I hesitated last time, that's why I failed it. Right, in this section here, you want to stay out of the water as um, much as possible. I'm not sure if the debuff counts when you've got the barding on. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't have it. Yeah, there you go. You can see I'm being slowed by them mobs. And uh, if you go in the water, it like doubles up and you go absolutely slow as anything. You struggle to keep up with them. There you can see why you wouldn't be able to do this quest with, like very easily without the bard and it's constantly being slowed by uh, creatures and stuff. It's an absolute pain. Just keep following him around there. There you go, so you've been slowed again. So I jump through the water, don't get the double slow. Luckily it doesn't last that long, the slow, it's just a... It's just a pain when you're trying to navigate through all these rocks and whatnot, and then you get slowed. Now this section, I panicked the first time I did it. So what you want to do is you want to jump on, oh, you want to jump up here and across here, and this is where the quest finishes. So if you just sit in the water there, you'll be fine. And there you go. That's the quest complete. So once you've done that. You take that back and you get the recipe to make the Elderhorn riding harness and you get yourself a nice a nice cool mount. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions leave them in the uh, comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with them. Cheers.